Hey everyone, so today we've got something a little bit different and we're going to be cutting some bamboo. So yesterday then a good friend of mine allowed me to go to her backyard and harvest some of her bamboo so that I could take it home for cutting. And so thank you very much to her. And the, with the bamboo harvesting then it's rather simple. You cut it off at the base and then cut off all the, the stray branches and twigs and then cut it to a manageable size. And so I'll put up some footage of that right now. And so in the cutting it to the right size, that was quite a difficult bit. And I decided to use a saw to do it as a bit of a test run for how cutting would go. And it was actually really hard. So bamboo is supposed to be like cutting bone of the same size. And honestly, that seems quite plausible because when I did it, it was, it was pretty hard to cut. So today I'm going to be using the wakizashi because I'm a little bit more familiar and comfortable with cutting with wakizashi rather than my... Um, Bjornagum or my katana and also the Bjornagum is very expensive so if anything goes wrong I don't want that to be the sword that takes the brunt of it. So we're going to be using Wakizashi here and we're going to go and try to cut some bamboo and we'll see how we go. Hey everyone, so I'm not sure if you can see that, but that wrong cut just busted out the epoxy that was holding in the bolts. So this bolt, the two, the inside bolt should be inside there and not both of them outside. And so it just blew that hole through the PVC pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and drill a new hole that's slightly smaller and hopefully, hopefully it won't bust even if we have a wrong cut. So now that I've re-tightened it, you can see that it's not just the epoxy that got blown out, it's actually that the whole thing split. So I hope that is not going to happen again. I've drilled it a little bit lower down and it's a big worry because if I get a cut wrong then the forces are greater on the stand and this is what happens. So if I get every cut right then there's going to be no problem but I can't guarantee that. So hopefully this will be okay. And hopefully we won't have another stand breakage and then I'll have to remake my entire stand because if that stand breakage happens then well this whole stand is pretty much useless because it was designed this way to cut bamboo so if it can't do that then there's not that much point to it. All of these cuts have been pretty good so I guess two-handed it is. One hand probably just doesn't have enough strength to cut bamboo of this thickness, um, unless I have a perfect cut, so we'll, we'll keep to two-handed.
Alrighty, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is a small crack starting. So that's why the bamboo kept on flying out, because we don't have the clamping power that we need. So that's a little bit worrying, and it means that I have to remake the stand, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get a slightly larger diameter PVC pipe, and then I think I'll just put it around the existing one and glue them together. That might actually be stronger than replacing it. But the other thing is that if you saw the last three cuts, if you have a perfect cut, then this stand works with no problem. But it's that my skill isn't perfect, so, well, you know, we've got to keep practicing more. But for now, we've got to improve the stand so that we can actually keep practicing, because right now, I don't even know if we'll hold to cut pool noodles. So that's a little bit of a worry, and we will get to doing that. All right, so that was a huge disaster. I was really hoping for a massive success to show you guys um, with bamboo cutting with the new stand and all, but things don't always turn out how I want. Now, an interesting point to note is that the epoxy that I used to, the epoxy in that bolt, has a rating of 140 kilograms of force, binding force per square centimeter. And I made sure that we had at least one and a half square centimeters of coverage um, on that bolt as well as on the surrounding PVC. So when you saw that bad cut originally, then that just blasted off the epoxy with no problem. So that means that the force required to cut through bamboo with a bad cut far exceeds 140 kilograms. So that's pretty interesting to note. And it's a lot of force required. But with a good cut, as you could see, then even with the, the new system with a crack, then it still cut through with no problem. So now hopefully I can get to fixing my, my stand quickly so I can get back to cutting because the problem with bamboo is that it dries out. And as it dries out, it gets harder to cut. So you really do want to cut green bamboo, not brown or yellow bamboo, because those will more likely damage your swords. And another thing to note is that bamboo is really irritative, so make sure that when you're handling it, you don't get any splinters because it causes a lot of skin irritation and it can be quite itchy and painful. So either wear gloves or just handle with care. So, you know, I'm pretty disappointed, but that's how things go and I will see you next time.